Hi everyone. I don't know, is it recording? My goodness, this phone. It's recording. So if you watch the shorts, the dilemma with the opening the spice, getting the chicken out of the package, they only had organic, and I, I like to use food gloves for I don't like to just chicken, so we got to remember the clean hand and the dirty hand. So I haven't made it in so long. I forgot to um, pat dry it. Then I put some Pam on that expires in two months, but still should be good. So these are chicken thighs, and I haven't made them forever. I looked all over. I know I do them for 350 on 350 degrees. How long? I do not remember anything I read. They're saying to do it at 400, and they're saying it's short, but this is bone in, skin on. So that takes longer. I thought I did it. I baked it for an hour and 40 minutes, but Lord knows, I don't know. And like there's some water here and the Pam is kind of oil and water and oil don't mix. And will this be okay in the oven? And I don't think I used Pam before, but when I was reading, it said to spray Pam. So I don't know. Actually, hold on a minute. Just watch a chicken. Hope the phone doesn't fall. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. I hope that phone don't fall. That would be really bad. Did you hear that? Okay, I think there's too much. I don't know what's going on, but let's just hope it's recording. Not talking to myself. This pan is way too big, but this is the only one I have. And I would usually cut this off. Okay, that's going to be my good hand. I would cut this yuck off, but no kitchen scissors. Okay, here we go. Are you I, like freaked out about chicken juice? I am. I am. I can watch a video and I showed a whole chicken and how to get the seasoning underneath the skin and they said think of your old wrinkly aunt or something. It's like gosh now I don't even want to want to eat it. But anyhow here we are. Here we go. I hope you can see the chicken. So you're going to have the right hand is the clean hand sterile hand whatever you want to call it and the left hand is the bad hand. Usually I start off upside down so I already screwed up here. I hope you can see. Oh, that's gross. I would definitely take that off. Let's see if I could do it one-handed. Nope. I need kitchen scissors. This is disgusting. Polly, could you get me a paper towel, please? Polly? Hello, Earth to Polly. Paper towel, please. This is like an emergency. Disgusting. Oh, this is gross. Yep, see, I would cut this off. Because anyhow, who needs all this yuck? Really, I need it, like, right now. Please, please, please. Oh, don't drop it on the floor. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, because this is my good hand. The one thing I touch the spices with. Oh, I hope this is still videotaping. This is disgusting. Are you even seeing the disgust? Ah, oh, it's not coming off. Well, the big one will never come off. My mom used to, um, with a match, used to burn off the feathers things. Ah, this doesn't come off. Well, this is gross. Well, let's see. What is the problem here? Okay. So, for you new people, like I say, my, my Sandy cook with me's or Sandy sweet just turn out to the Lucy show somehow for some reason. I don't know, but why not have fun when you're cooking? I love to cook and bake. Okay, that's the gross hand. That's the good hand. Let's start we go very simple. Let's start spicing it up. I like to try to make glazed chicken sometime. I like this because it's juicier. So I decided on 350 degrees for hour 20 to check it. I think it's going to be longer. But look, that is much smaller than this piece, if you can even see it. So they should have packaged it the right size, especially since I was forced to buy organic. Not really forced, but you know, we got to have some protein in our life. Now is this even coming out? So first I do this side. Again, this is my good hand, which means the hand that I'm not going to contaminate. And then a little bit of garlic powder. Not a lot. Can't see if it's coming out. Let's hope it is. Next we got some onion powder. I don't buy onion salt unless I, well, if I, if I had onion salt, I wouldn't put salt on here. And then, oh, I did the salt. Did I do the salt? Oh, I don't know. Well, I think I did. But we'll do that. A little bit of pepper. Just a little bit. 
just a little is it coming out well pepper you should be able to see right it's it's a brand new thing why is it not working there it is barely 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 you still with me i hope this is taping and i didn't do this for anything for nothing let's see can i see i don't know let's hope it is so what i do then i turn it over i usually wear gloves like i say this disgusting will have to be on that side. That's gross. I need the kitchen scissors. Ugh. I didn't mix up hands, did I know? So I like to go underneath the skin. I usually poke it too, so it goes into the chicken, but didn't do that. And now I gotta put my hands in this nasty membrane crapola. Uh, uh, if you're a vegetarian, I'm sorry. I'm probably grossing out. I'm grossing myself out. Oh, I don't have a nail brush thing. I'll have to clean deep in my nails to get this yucky out. I, I love meat, don't get me wrong. What I'm going to do with this, Polly's going to eat his whole, and I'm going to put mine in the musher crusher, and, uh, I don't know, pureed food for me for the rest of my life. Gross. Gross, gross. I don't know, this is like something red on here. Gross. I really hope this is the right hand. But anyhow, so I loosen the skin to get under there. Like I say, I would usually poke it, but I don't got the thing here, and I'm afraid my phone's going to fall, and then the video will be for nothing. But I'm trying to get underneath here. Okay, let's just do the best we can. It's all you could do in life is the best you can. So that's what I'm doing. So I get underneath there. I know those are cringing. Oh, the salt. Believe me, there's not a lot of salt coming out. Then the garlic powder. This one, you know, I could get a lot more in there, but I can't get can't get under there. So that's that. I'll put a little onion powder. I'm not gonna put pepper in there. Um, what happened here? Then I put the nasty skin on, but I do like the skin on it. I don't know why actually. But I, I'm not peeling it off because it's already under my nails. Okay, so the last round, of course it's such a big pan, they don't need to be touching. We want this gross skin over here. Okay, so if anyone has a recipe for some kind of glazed chicken that you would like, this salt is barely coming out, that you marinate, let me know. Comment below some recipe. Maybe like with a apricot glaze or a honey glaze or I don't know why the salt is not working. So then we're going to go to the onion powder which definitely works, but I wish I could see how much is coming out. The cheap brands, now I gotta buy cheap, you know how much spices cost? Holy cow, nine to twenty dollars. The McCormick. Did I put garlic? I don't know. Well, we'll just put a little more, not a lot. I don't like a lot of garlic, just, just you know, a little taste for taste. So there's no, I can't give you ingredients, but I'm sure y'all know how to, how to What's the word? Did I use the salt? I think I started with the salt. You're probably saying, oh, good Lord, look at all the salt. Yeah, I remember I did the salt. No, I didn't. I don't know. Okay, here's the pepper. <laughs> Last thing, the pepper. I like to put it on top because then it looks kind of nice. And Okay, there's something wrong with this pepper. It's brand new. And um, I don't know what's going on here. But at least you can see what you're putting out there, right? So why is it not coming out? I don't know. Who knows, you know, what's that they always blame everything on, um, oh, what's the word, um, supply chain issues, yep, that's what caused the pepper not to come out, I don't know, this has never happened, but anyhow, so here we are, this is a pan I've been saving for the fall, they make this real good fall pumpkin something or other, it's so good, the frosting, oh my gosh, but I, I always have a pan I only use that in, but, you know, hard times, we had a break out this pan. I have a, uh, a foil one I usually use for other things. But anyhow, while I'm here, no, actually, I think I'll ask that question on the short. Or I don't know. No, maybe. I don't know. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. There's two parts before this. The short that's going to talk about the um, problems getting into the spice, getting into the chicken package itself. And here's chicken thighs. 350 and I hope I do it right. Gonna set it for an hour and 20 minutes. I don't have a timer, a timer, a thermometer. So we will see. So for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share our channel. Um, make sure you press that like button. Come on, give a girl 
give a girl a like and uh, tell your friends to subscribe. Help grow our channel. Be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Pay it for it feels good in your heart. Most importantly, be the reason someone smiles today and tell me, how do you make chicken thighs or do you make chicken thighs? So I'm going to end it here because I, I have to go wash my hands and I don't even know how long this is. Probably too long and you've left, but I hope not. And if you haven't left, let's see. Let's do a word of the end of the video to see if you've been to all the way then. Geranium will be the word. Put it in the comment. If I know you went to the end, the word will be geranium. Thanks for watching.